Welcome to Ubico. In this video in the How To series, I will demonstrate configuring the YubiKey with a Ubico OTP credential and uploading it to the YubiCloud validation service. This is a feature supported by every YubiKey sold today and when properly configured will cause your YubiKey to emit a 44 character OTP or one-time passcode that will allow you to identify and authenticate yourself simply and securely. This is often used in conjunction with the YubiCloud OTP validation service to authenticate users to an application or service. To program the YubiKey with a Yubico OTP, you will need the cross-platform personalization tool. You can download it from yubico.com slash pt. I now run the personalization tool and insert my YubiKey. The programming status shows that slot 2 is empty, so I will use this slot for my Yubico OTP credential. Beware of overwriting a slot that is not empty. Looking at the supported features block, I see a tick against the Yubico OTP, so I'm good to go. Select the Yubico OTP menu option. I have two choices with regard to programming a Yubico OTP credential into my YubiKey. The quick option allows you to program the YubiKey to omit the standard 44 character Yubi OTP for use with the YubiCloud validation service. The advanced option allows you to program YubiKeys with greater control over the configuration values and supports programming multiple YubiKeys in sequence. I want to program the Yubico OTP for use with the YubiCloud validation service, so I choose the quick option. I select the empty slot on my YubiKey, slot 2. Here I can see that the parameters have already been generated, with, uh, generated for me, with the private identity and secret key automatically hidden for security. To program your YubiKey, simply click the right configuration button. I am then prompted to save the configuration log file. The log file provides a record of the configuration, as this will contain the cryptographic secrets. Be careful about what you do with this file. You may want to disable logging in the settings tab if you don't want your secrets written to disk. After making my choice, the YubiKey is successfully configured as reflected by the new entry in the results block. As I'm intending to use this credential with the YubiCloud validation service, I click the Upload to Yubico button, which will launch my default browser and take me to the Yubico AES key upload page. After filling in all the required details and generating an OTP from my YubiKey with the long touch gesture to access slot 2, my new Yubico OTP credential has been uploaded. Let's check everything works by going to the Yubico demo page at yubico.com slash one. After waiting 15 minutes for the new credential to be updated in the validation servers, I make the long touch gesture of three or four seconds to activate slot two. Here we go, my YubiKey's new credential works. To find out more, head to yubico.com.